We're going to look at a couple defenses to the knee bar. And um, first of all, I should I got to recognize that my leg's in trouble. Can you turn with me this way? Just for the fact that my leg is between his legs. If it's between his legs, I got to be over. Now I'm safe. Okay, so it can be a good control, but it becomes very dangerous as soon as this happens. Okay, so you know it's going to come as soon as you see him starting to look out and he's reaching for your knee. Right, it's going to happen. So the good thing is his head is not too far away from me and he has to tuck and curl himself into a ball to get to that position. Okay, so when he does that and he starts to roll, I'm going to try to keep this hand like as close to his neck as possible. He's going to be pushing me away, but to help that, look, my hands are on the floor and I move this knee forward and I just keep walking around with him. Okay, now he's still going to be fighting for that leg, right? He's pulling for it, but I'm going to put that hand under his neck. Okay, the more he pulls, I'm going to just reach for his head, okay? And I'm gonna try to keep my knee around the corner of this hip, not let it get too far away. So I keep his hips also in control. All right, as he tries to pull my leg, I'm connecting to his head, and I'm also gonna shift my weight into that leg, right? And I wanna let that leg be light. He wants to push my weight away from him, right? I wanna do the opposite. I wanna push my weight into that leg that he's attacking. So make sure we put that leg up, this leg down, this leg up, okay? And any grip around the head is all you need to really stop this technique from happening. All right. If you're able to get head and arm, maybe you're gonna be able to turn this into a head and arm choke down the line. Uh, if you get just the head, that's fine too, as long as you got head control, because now when he tries to pull that uh, leg out of there, it's gonna be really tough for him, okay? Uh, like we did, I believe last week, was uh, in this, you see I'm basically in a leg drag position except my foot is to the outside. Either way, his defense or his attack, in this case defending the leg drag or his attack on the knee bar uh, is gonna be the same, right? It's just him holding this leg. And him holding this leg is also gonna be him creating a stalemate for me to pass in the leg drag, right? Get around, right? He's stopping me from passing, but I'm very close. He's also very close to getting the, the knee bar. But as long as I keep the head under control, I'm passing here. Anybody tell me if like he's holding my leg here, how I could force him to let go and finish this pass? Punch. Punch. Should be a good, good one. What else? Uh, uh, you could do that mean jaw thing. Yeah, exactly. We did last week where we come here, we drag his face across, we make a grip in the collar. Okay, now whatever grip he's having here, I'm going to just ever so gently make him look the opposite direction and force my way to finish this pass by turning his, his face away. Okay, let's do this one more time. Okay, so my foot's in the wrong spot and he starts to roll for it. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep this hand close. This hand is important on the floor as my knee shifts forward and I circle with it. Okay, and I grab his head and I stay with him. I try to keep his hips between my legs. Okay, so I don't let his hips escape too far forward. I connect, I stay connected here. It was like if I'm able to get my leg out somehow, I can turn this into a katakatami, arm triangle. But uh, that's another story here. Most importantly is we just stop him from pulling my leg uh, to him and, and separating my body from his upper body. Okay, so either head or head and arm is fine. Okay, and we kill the position here. To force him to let go, if you wanna get that far, you force him to look away across his jaw, make him look that way, and just keep sprawling your leg back to finish. Yes, I can show. Okay, but number one is just avoiding the submission, all right? One, two, three.